Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be discussing about the Ramachandran plot. The Ramachandran plot is a graphical representation used in structural biology and biochemistry to analyze the dihedral angles of a protein's backbone. It is named after the creator G. N. Ramachandran who introduced this tool in 1960s. Understanding the dihedral angles is crucial for studying the conformation and stability of protein structures. So in this lecture, we will cover the basics of uh, Ramachandran plot, building the Ramachandran plot, interpretation and significance and limitations and applications of the Ramachandran plot. So what is Ramachandran plot and uh, what is its uh, importance? The Ramachandran plot is a two-dimensional uh, graph that shows allowed and disallowed regions of conformational space for two dihedral angles in the protein backbone that is phi and psi. It was developed by Indian physicist uh, G. N. Ramachandran in 1963. The Ramachandran plot is important because it can be used to validate the quality of protein structure models and to identify regions of protein that are likely to be disordered. It can also be used to study protein folding and dynamics and design new proteins with their desired properties. So we will uh, discuss these in detail in the coming slides. In a protein, the backbone is composed of series of amino acids linked by peptide bonds. The dihedral angles describe the rotation of atoms along these bonds, specifically the phi and psi angles. Phi angle, it measures the rotation about bond between the nitrogen atom and the alpha carbon of amino acid and the carbon atom and nitrogen atoms of the next amino acid. Whereas in psi angle, it measures the rotation about the bond between alpha carbon of one amino acid and carbon atom and nitrogen atom of the next amino acid. Let's see how to construct a Ramachandran plot. The Ramachandran plot is a scatter plot where each point represents a specific pair of phi and psi dihedral angles for a particular amino acid residue in a protein structure. The x-axis corresponds to phi angle while the y-axis represents psi angle. The plot is typically created using crystallographic or uh, NMR data. So now we have the uh, Ramachandran plot. How do you interpret the Ramachandran plot? The Ramachandran plot is divided into two main regions, allowed and disallowed. The allowed regions are those where uh, the protein backbone can adopt a stable conformation. The disallowed regions are those regions where the protein backbone would be sterically hindered. The most common secondary structure elements in proteins that are uh, the alpha and uh, beta sheets have characteristic region in the Ramachandran plot. The plot is populated with uh, data points and each point represents a specific pair of phi and psi angles observed in the protein structure. The interpretation involves understanding the distribution of these points on the plot. Regions of the Ramachandran plot that are densely populated with data points represents allowed conformations and these conformations are energetically favorable and sterically feasible. Or in other words, we can say that uh, they are configurations where there is a minimal steric clash or overlap between the atoms in the protein backbone. For example, typical alpha helices and uh, beta sheets fall within these allowed regions. In contrast, the regions with little or no data points on the Ramachandran plot represents disallowed conformation. These areas are characterized by steric clashes, meaning that uh, backbone atoms are too close to each other, creating unfavorable and high energy conformations. Proteins are generally not found in these regions because they represent uh, strained or impossible backbone conformation. Some Ramachandran plots also include regions for glycine and proline which have unique backbone properties and these regions are distinct from those of the other amino acids. So what is the significance of uh, this Ramachandran plot? Ramachandran plot is a fundamental tool for assessing the quality of experimentally determined or computationally modeled protein structures. By comparing the phi and psi angles of the protein structure with the allowed regions in the plot, researchers can quickly identify problematic areas and potential errors in the model. It plays a critical role in validation of protein structures. A well-populated region in the plot suggests that the structure is consistent with uh, known protein conformations, increasing confidence in the accuracy of the model. On the other hand, the protein structure with uh, phi and psi angles in disallowed regions may need further refinement. The Ramachandran plot provides insights into protein folding and stability. It helps us understand how proteins maintain their three-dimensional structures by adopting allowed conformations. It's a valuable tool for investigating how structural changes might impact a protein's function. In structural biology, scientists use Ramachandran plot to identify regions of a protein structure that need improvement or refinement. 
By adjusting the phi and psi angles to fall within the allowed regions, researchers can enhance the accuracy of structural models. The Ramachandran plot uh, is also a valuable teaching and learning tool. It helps students and researchers grasp the concept of protein backbone conformation in an intuitive and visual way. Overall, it's a valuable tool in structural biology, but it also has some limitations and wide range of applications. So let's see both of these in detail. So what are the limitations? Ramachandran plot provides a simplified representation of protein backbone conformation, but it does not consider side chain or solvent interaction, which play a significant role in the overall protein structure. The plot is based on empirical data from known protein structure. As a result, it may not accurately represent rare or novel conformation, particularly for proteins with unique structures. The Ramachandra plot offers a static snapshot of the protein structures. It doesn't account for dynamic changes such as protein motion and flexibility, which are crucial for understanding protein function. Different proteins may have different regions of allowed and disallowed conformations in the plot, depending on their specific amino acid sequences and structural features. Thus, one plot may not fit all proteins. So now we have seen some of the limitations. Let's see applications of Ramachandran plot. The Ramachandran plot is widely used to validate the quality of protein structures obtained through X-ray crystallography or NMR spectroscopy. Deviation from allowed regions in the plot may indicate errors in the model. Structural biologists use plot to guide model refinement by adjusting the torsion angles to align with the allowed regions. They can improve the accuracy and quality of protein models. The plot can be used to identify unusual and potentially biologically relevant protein conformations, particularly in case of protein with unique functions. Researchers use uh, Ramachandran plot as a reference in molecular dynamic stimulations to understand how protein fluctuate between different conformations over time. The plot also serves as an essential teaching tool in structural biology, helping students and researchers to understand the concept of backbone, torsion angles and their significance in protein structure. Understanding the allowed and disallowed regions in the plot is crucial for designing drugs that target specific protein conformations or for engineering proteins with desired structural characteristics. In silico methods and structural bioinformatics tools often utilize Ramachandran plot to assess the to assess and uh, compare protein structures aiding in the analysis of protein protein interaction protein ligand binding and in many other cases the plot is used to study relationship between protein conformation stability and function it helps the researchers gain insights into how mutations and modification affect the protein structure so these are the wide range of applications uh, which we can make use uh, of the Ramachandran plot so in conclusion the Ramachandran plot is a powerful tool for understanding protein structure and stability. It is widely used in structural biology research to validate protein models, identify disordered regions and study protein folding and dynamics. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this session, please like and share with your friends. Thank you.